Okay, so we're going to holiday cheer anyway. But look, I, there's also some serious issues to get to today. As, as we're not slowing down for the holidays in any way, shape, or form. A jobs coalition has formed to oppose what the city council passed a couple of weeks ago, and that's called the linkage fee. It's a terrible name for it because no one has any idea what that means. The link appears to be between industrial and commercial development, fees assessed on those developers to pay for affordable housing for people. Now, this fee has been around for a long time, but it was increased astronomically a couple of weeks ago by the, by the council. And a lot of backlash growing on this thing now. And two guests with me. Craig Benedetto is with us here who has worked with the mayor. Uh, mayor Sanders has worked with a lot of, uh, of politicians, worked with uh, on the staff and then privately. And now you have your own private company on this. And we're working with this new jobs coalition. Craig, Correct. welcome. Thank you. Stephen Liu is here. He is vice president for investment and business operations at uh, S. Liu and Associates. Is the S Steve? Yes. Oh, it's for actually my mother, Susan. Susan. Yes. My good friend Susan. I've known her forever. <laughs> right. Okay. So, so you guys <laughs> are also a part of this coalition. Right. So let's talk about it, uh, Craig. What's the, what's the problem with the linkage fee that skims a little bit of dough out of these commercial and industrial developments and helps with what is an uh, acknowledged problem of affordable housing in San Diego? Well, it's a huge tax on jobs creation, Roger. And as you know, in a down economy in particular, it's hard for us to justify that. It might seem like a small amount of money to go for subsidized housing, but it has a huge impact to the bottom line of people people looking to develop new commercial offices. So you can be a Qualcomm right on down to a small restaurant tour like. Stephen here, and it can have a disproportionate impact. When you're looking, it's the council, we believe the council should be, to get job creation going, to get the economy going here in San Diego. The best way to deal with our housing affordability is not to tax jobs creation, but to actually get it going. So this huge increase is astronomical, as you described it, and it's something that they should not have done. We believe there are other opportunities to pay for subsidized housing, something that can provide a more substantial source of money. The council rejected looking at all of those alternatives and instead went with this jobs tax. 400 to 900 percent increase or something like that. Correct. I mean, it's an incredible uh, a jump. Usually they try to boil the frog just a little more slowly. <laughs> this time they just went <laughs> they straight turned up forward. the heat. Exactly. All right, so Stephen Liu. Um, you're the small business guy here. Right. Does it really have an impact on you? I mean, what's what's the you know, are you building commercial and industrial stuff? Well, you know what uh, Craig was talking about restaurateur. You know, we don't only do commercial real estate. Uh, we do restaurants too. So we're a small business, and like Craig said, we are going to feel the effects because uh, when they when there's something that's going to threaten the economy and when, if there's going to be another recession, uh, we're not going to have the patrons, we're not going to have the customers. And not just our business, but other small businesses are going to suffer tremendously. And a lot of small businesses like yours have joined in this coalition. Right. I noticed a huge list of names of uh, people there. Right. And what people don't have to, uh, people shouldn't forget is that small business is the backbone of our economy. And so they're over 90% of all business is small business. So uh, it's the ecosystem. Uh, you know, people talk about it only being big business, but, you know, small business is a big, big component to this, too. And Craig, let me, let me talk about where the money's going, because I was disturbed to find out that the housing uh, commission that gets this money is really talking about maybe an additional 85 to 100 units a year where the backlog is maybe 45,000, the need is 45,000. This, this seems like a very small drop in a large bucket. That's correct, and that's been one of the challenges we've had when we've argued with the council that you're not making a, an appreciable dent in the need. The other part of the problem here is what they actually use the linkage money for. So they're using this jobs tax, they're collecting it, and the nexus that you referred to is supposedly because the workforce being created, they can't afford to live in San Diego. Right. But when you look at the numbers, 63% of the money the, the Housing Commission collects is being put towards transitional housing services. And what does that mean? homeless services. Having nothing to do with the jobs created. Nothing at all with the nexus. Nothing to do with it at all. So, uh, Stephen, you had a, um, I guess there's been a press conference or there will be right. a coalition's going to develop. You guys are going to go out and get signatures and try to get this on the ballot. Right. And it's very important. Uh, we are trying to uh, gather as many people. You know, we're looking at small business, big business, people who are going to be affected, who um, care about the economy, care about jobs, uh, care about uh, their families. This is the second time that business in San Diego has gotten together and said, look, we've got to take a city council decision we don't like and take it to the voters. The first time, of course, was Barrio Logan with the ship industry. Right. And now you folks coming along on the linkage fee, this is starting to become a pattern. Uh, do you think, are, are, you, are you basically saying, look, we think the public is with us and the council's off base? Uh, you know what, I think the council, you know, they're going to do what they think is best, but, you know, they're not the ones that are on, you know, uh, work 
you know, day after day in these small businesses or in these big businesses. So, you know, we think that we have a, a, a great chance uh, to put this on the ballot, and we're going to do what we can to have you sign the signature check. And Craig, uh, you're, you're in the business of these political campaigns. The 34,000 or some signatures have to be gathered in a pretty short period of time. What's the plan? Well, the plan is to start gathering signatures. It, the first day we can collect is December 25th, Christmas Day, so it's the, the great Christmas present. What a kickoff. The, the council's <laughs> bringing us. Yeah, the Grinch who stole Christmas. Uh, so we're going to start probably the day after, and we'll hit it hard. You know, the best part about it is you need people out and about to collect signatures, and what are people doing after Christmas? They're returning their presents. They're out at the malls. They're shopping. They're doing whatever. So we have a, a good opportunity, and to your point, we think the public is going to be with us on, on this. If you look at all the polling, and we've seen a lot lot of it because of the mayor's race, the number one issue that people have is about the uh, jobs and the economy here in San Diego, and we believe this strikes at the heart of that. Seems to me, though, if you look at this fee, even with the increase, and you're looking at a building that's worth 20, 30, 40 million dollars, you're into an office park or you're into an industrial building, and you're looking at this fee, compared to all the other things that you, you have factored into your cost picture, this is a pretty small part. Well, we th it depends. You know, for a small business, it could be a large part. If you're a retailer and you're l looking to open a 5,000 square foot shop and you don't have an extra ten, twenty thousand dollars in your pocket to pay for that, it's a big hit to you. But even if you're Qualcomm, it could be another nail in the co in the coffin. They've estimated with their growth plan in the near term that it will cost them additional four to five million dollars. That's enough to push them over the edge and say, you know what, City of San Diego, maybe we'll look at Poway, maybe we'll look at the Austin, county, Texas, Sandy, or maybe we'll look at Austin, <laughs> Texas. Exactly she right. Is. All right. So we've got a coalition going. What do you think the major now, if somebody's watching this right now, Steve, mm -hmm. and they're saying to themselves, okay, what's the bottom line for me? Why should I vote you know, on this thing if it does get on the ballot to repeal this linkage fee and put it back to the smaller fee that it used to be? Well, you know, what I'm afraid of is that businesses uh, will flee San Diego and they will uh, go to, like you said, will go to other different cities in California or just leave the state. And so for a small business, we can't have these people leave who are going to, who should be spending money in San Diego in small businesses. And so we're afraid of that and we're going to try very hard uh, to put this on the bat. And I agree with Craig that I think we have a great shot doing that. Now, th what's going to happen, I guess, is you get the signatures, it goes to the city council, they get a chance to actually repeal the increase right. before it, so to save themselves the money of putting it on the ballot. This is they're facing today on the Barrio Logan plan, the same sort of thing, where they've got the signatures in front of them. They have a choice of either repealing what they did or putting it on the ballot. Uh, what are your chances, you think, of getting the city council to repeal? Well, it's going to be expensive to put on the ballot, so they're going to have to weigh whether or not they want to do that or not. Right. Uh, I think that uh, we have tremendous support from from the public so uh, if they you know I think that you know it's just one of the choices that they do whether they do they want to spend the money to put it on the ballot or do they want to take a take a step back and take a look at other ways uh, to fund affordable housing Stephen thanks for coming in Craig thank you for coming in